Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Kirby. Today we're going to be cooking chicken breast in the air fryer. So if you're probably wondering why I'm going over something really easy to cook as chicken breast, it is a little easy to overcook. And one of my biggest pet peeves is eating a dry overcooked chicken breast. Now I eat a lot of chicken breast. I meal prep it on Sunday and on Wednesday so that way I can take it with me to work for lunch. And once you narrow chicken breast down, you cook it perfectly every single time. I like to get mine at least to 165 degrees and I try to get it as close to 165 degrees because anything over 170, then you're starting to take the chances of drying it out and it's unpleasant to eat, it's tough. So I love a juicy chicken breast. Now I'm gonna be cooking this on my 10 quart. I might have a five quart coming to me, but I do have a three quart. So I'm gonna be doing a follow up video so that way you can see the different times at 365 degrees of cooking and see exactly how long it actually takes. Now I did notice on my three quart, when I did test it, I actually tested it on a smaller chicken breast than what I'm actually using today. And it actually did cook it fairly fast compared to my 10 quart. So today we're gonna be using the 10 quart, so just keep that in mind. If you have a smaller air fryer, it might cook a little bit faster, but I always say get to know your air fryer and doing these tests really help out. And once you know, then you'll be able to just, you know, put the meat in there and cook it and you already know the time and temperature on hand. So no further ado, let's get down to the recipe so I can show you how to make it. So we're gonna start off with a whole chicken breast fully cleaned and trimmed. So we're gonna be seasoning it with Ridge's Rivers Dirt Hot and Spicy. This seasoning is very good, but it is hot. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the video description where you can find it at. So you wanna just go ahead and season your chicken breast and you want that chicken breast to look exactly the same color as the seasoning that you're using. Uh, if you don't have this Rich's Rivers Dirt, you can use whatever barbecue rub or all-purpose seasoning you would like to use. As you can see right there, it's got a nice beautiful color and that's exactly how you want your chicken breast to look. So now we're just going to go ahead and preheat our air fryer at 360 degrees and we're going to set the time for 30 minutes. Now if you have the New Wave 10 quart, I did close the vent on this. I want that moisture to stay inside. Now that you have your air fryer preheated, go ahead and spray a little bit of olive oil right there on the grate. We don't want that chicken to get stuck. Then you want to go ahead and just place your chicken in there and then you want to just close it up and start the cooking process. Now every 10 minutes I flipped it, so at 20 minutes remaining and 10 minutes remaining, I flipped the chicken, so I wanted to rotate it so that way it can cook evenly. The reason why we're rotating is because chicken breast does not have the fat in it like some other cuts of meat, and it will dry out that spot if you don't move it around. That's why we're rotating it so that way it can cook evenly. So after the 30 minutes of cook time, I want you to check the internal temperature of the chicken breast. What you're trying to achieve is 165 degrees. You do not want to go over 170. As you can see right here, it did not hit 165 degrees. It actually temped it, I think, at a 151. It needed it a little bit longer. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cooking a little bit more, but you don't want to overcook it. So I put it for another five minutes. Just a little note, uh, before I set it to five minutes of cook time, I did flip the chicken breast one more time for the even cooking. Uh, this time it did cook to 165 degrees. Uh, as you can see, it's not over 170. This chicken breast is perfectly cooked. So just keep in mind, 30 to 35 minutes is when you'll have a fully cooked chicken breast. This is a whole chicken breast and it is juicy as you can see right here. Wait until I cut into it. Every time I cook chicken breast, this is what I want to achieve right here. And just as easy it is to cook, it is just as easy to mess it up. So this is what you want to see. Fully cooked, but very juicy. If you go above 175 degrees, then you start to get like a dry chicken breast. As you can see right here, it is really, really juicy. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we can see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments or anything you want to say about the cook, 
Go ahead and leave it down in the comments section, and I'll get back to you later. Now I have these three other air fryer recipes. Go ahead and check those out, they're really good. Now y'all be beautiful, and take care.